Transform your home for less with ABC Blind's Spring Inspiration Sale. Pete and Kimbers. Am I a freak? Am I a freak? <laughs> Super freaking. Now. We've got our latest freak today. Kirsty is here. Kirsty, we're excited to talk to you because this is a pretty unusual one, a little bit different for Am I a Freak? Tell us what you think might make you freaky. Um, I actually collect Fran Trelloquist dolls. Rock and roll. All right. right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ventriloquist dolls. When you say you collect them, how many are we talking? Um, so I've got five and I've got two big ones that also sit in my room. They look directly at my bed. So when I sleep, you can <laughs> wake up and see them. <laughs> oh, you knew You knew that was going to be the bit we asked. You knew we were going to say, where are they and what are they looking at? <laughs> Kirsty, I just got a shiver up my spine. I was just telling Kimber that Night of the Living Dummy was my favourite Goosebumps book as a kid. Did you ever read that Me book? Me too. Yeah, I've got the DVD. I love that movie. And I've also got um, Billy Dead Silence. Whoa, Kirsty, you are, you are the horror next movie. level. Yeah, no, I get it. The horror movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I've got, um, that's one of the great big ventriloquist dolls that's in my room sitting opposite um, my wardrobe. What? Kirsty, I can't go any further without asking you. Do you do ventriloquism? Um, I do practice and I do talk to them and have a conversation with them and, you know, I, I give them food and water and like to see how they're going. Okay. Do they talk back? <laughs> um, I have had sort of an experience where I've felt like they've talked to me and I've looked at them and then I've, like, maybe it's just my mind, but, you know, the creepy feeling you get. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why ventriloquism works. The whole reason it works is that if it's done properly, because... The puppets take on an entity of their own and they are very believable. Over time, people absolutely forget that they are puppets. Yeah. My partner, he's too scared to even come in the house. Like when they're there, I'll put them in a spare room because he doesn't like to go in and sleep in the room unless they're out of the room. I mean, I sort of get that. People have a bit of a thing with dummies or I think dolls in general. My mother-in-law yes. collects those dolls that are faceless. You know, oh, those wow. ones, that, the ones that used to get, you put them in the naughty corner, you know what I mean? They, they, mm-hmm. they lean up against the corner. Yeah, they oh, they, like I don't want to sleep in the same room as them either. I don't know why well, that so, is. Well, because my partner and I, we do fly and fly out. And so when he's home, like if he's sleeping, I'll sleep in the bed, but I'll put them in between us just so they're all right. But he gets freaked out and he's like, can you not do that? Christy. <laughs> okay, now it seems like you're also using it because you, like, you know it scares him. You're like, why not? Yeah, it's something like that. Hey. <laughs> i got to ask, Kirsty, are they around when you and your partner get up to your shenanigans? Uh, or do they leave yeah, the Billy, room? Um, the two, the Billy and the big one are, but the others are in their own bed. They sleep and they, they sort of keep the other part of the house um, comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Yep, it's funny, your partner can ignore it when he needs to. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so how do other people react to it when they come to um, your house? They sort of, they look at me, they look at the dolls and they're a bit creeped out. They're like, um, are they are they actually looking at me? I'm like, yeah, but it's, they won't hurt you. It's fine. Have you ever um, woken up to find them somewhere else? Like, have they, uh, do they move? Well, I have woken up where, you know, I've had things on my bed and then when I come back after having a shower and they're on the floor and I'm like, how did they get on the floor? <sighs> Weird. Oh, I love this. Who, who do you get into? Do you go and see ventriloquists? Do you like the performances? Do you watch them online? Like, are you interested in it? Yeah, I, I do. I like the performances, and I, I like. So I get into it, but um, I like the performances and the people that sell these dolls and do the actual shows. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. So it's yeah. not just you're not collecting any dolls. It, it's no. it's still specific to ventriloquism. Yeah. Yeah, and cool. you know they've got their hats and they've got strings, so you can you can make their mouth move manually and their eyes if you if you want to, or you can just let them do their own thing. Well, Kirsty, we're going to put it out there. I don't think it's freaky because I think ventriloquism is an incredible craft. So I see it for what it is. But just seeing them in your bedroom and facing the bed—that's <laughs> freaky. That's the bit that's... I find a bit freaky. Yeah. But is Kirsty a freak for collecting ventriloquist dolls and that they face the bed? We're finding out um, on the text line, um, Jess says, I don't think she's a freak. You could say that she's a collector. Oh, yeah. I mean, sure. that, that is true. Laura says, no, she's not a freak, but the dolls are freaky. Can't look at them the same because I grew up with The Night of the Living Dummies by R.L. Stein. 
Exactly. Um, Goosebumps. Claire says, as someone with a fear of puppet, puppets and dummies, I couldn't even watch Toy Story 4 because of the dummies. Never mind sleeping with them. Absolutely not. Get some help. We have just <laughs> been handed photos. Oh, wow. Of the dummies. Okay. Now you tell me. Oh, that first one is exactly what I was expecting. You tell me that those looking at your bed in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. Waking up to those in the middle of the night. The first one's what I expect. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a duo. You see the ones in bed together? Okay. All four of the ones in All bed right. together? Let's just find out. Let's She's just... feeding one of them in a photo. <laughs> is that a hash brown? <laughs> that's a hash brown. Okay, let's find out. Let's go to Emma in Carnap. Emma, what do you reckon? Freak or not oh, freak? 110% freak. <laughs> 110% freak? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, I, I can't even sleep with the door open without, like, a big eyeball peeking through. Like, I can't. No, nothing's staring at me. No, yep. thank you. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. We'll take it, Emma. We'll go with it. All okay. Right. Uh, Cecilia in Baldivis. Freak or not? Not a freak. No? No. I'm a cat person who's travelled across Australia five times with four cats and two dogs. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm still trying to find the link. Yeah. Hey, Cecilia, <laughs> so do you want to come on? The... When, you can, when you can actually take your, your pets with you across the border each time as well and have the door open and the mm. inspectors say that's something I don't see every day. <laughs> right. Yep. Okay. Cecilia, how about you come on the show tomorrow for Am I Free? Just, to... <laughs> <laughs> Just going up there with being a collector. Alan in Baldivis, is Kirsty a freak for these uh, ventriloquist dolls? No, she's not a freak. No. Have you gotten it really? yourself, Alan? Uh, no, I haven't, but no. No? Uh, I find it quite uh, quite interesting, actually. Um that people, uh, you know, like a little, you know, I don't, it's, um, yeah, no, I can't explain it, but uh, I reckon it's awesome. No, I like it. I know what you're saying. You like like people's little eccentricities, the little things about them that make them a bit unique or a bit different. It's quite cool. A bit more interesting than just saying, oh, on the weekends, I like hanging out with friends. That's very true. You're like, I like hanging out with my ventriloquist dolls. Yeah. Totally puts a different spin on the conversation. Luke in Mullaloo, is Kirsty a freak or not? Absolute freak. Sounds like a Chucky scene waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough Chucky in our lives. Do kids these days even know the fear of Chucky? I don't think so. Of child's play, of it coming alive? Um, Ashley and Armadale, bring us home here. Freak or not? Uh, definitely not a freak, but the dolls are creepy. So waking up in the middle of the night and seeing something staring at me would scare the absolute daylights out of me. Yeah. Yeah, so I, think it's I, get, I get the collecting yeah. thing. Yeah, I get the collecting thing because I collect Harry Potter Lego. So I get that side of it, but they are creepy as all hell. But actually, uh, Lego so doesn't look like no. it's trying to steal your yeah. soul in the night. Yeah. That's Correct. the difference. It does not. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, Ashley, you got to see some of these photos. Can we put some of these <laughs> photos afraid. on our Instagram or what? These are like really, she's really, oh, cute. That one's eating a sayo, like oh, a cracker. Yeah. We're going to put them on socials. See We're going to put them on socials. Together. Yeah, no, that's the, one, that's the one that I saw before. And that is next level. They've got like, a really similar look, don't they? Yeah, freaky. Which is quite wild because Kirsty is still with us. Um, apparently, according to our listeners, a lot of people on the text line, not a freak. Well, that's that's a good thing. At least I'm not a freak. But hey, my dolls still keep me um, insane. So <laughs> <laughs> you're a ripper, mate. You're welcome on this show every time. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll bring the dolls too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can leave the dolls there. That's fine. Transform your home for less with ABC Blinds Spring Inspiration Sale. Save up to forty percent off indoor blinds, shop shutters, and sheer curtains.